Hey guys, what is going on? It is Deboki here once again, and it is time for a Maple Story video with cups of soup. I am here sitting in the Hennessy's General Store, greeted by a lovely Ursus bear. Oh, I love this chair. This is so cool. It's just eating a poor little mapler here. Little update time, guys. I know last time we were doing some boss tossing. Today, I want to go ahead and do some boss tossing as well. Really quick, though, I did get some gains from the last video off camera, which I'm pretty pumped about. Pink Holy Cup, finally got it. Some decent flames on there, still work in progress, of course. All stats 5%. Strength 24. I finally got my android, which is awesome. Alaroid or Alaroid. The whole adventure on just getting this android heart was something else. I was doing something totally different. Um, but yes, the glimmering one droid heart, which I'm super pumped about. A 6% strength. Of course, this is something that I'm working in progress as well. I think everything else you've guys pretty much seen. The rings are looking super sad, but there's an awesome event that's happening. Welcome to to Hotel Maple. A uh, really cool event that's happening right now for the 16th anniversary. Guys, I cannot believe it. 16 years Maple Story has been in our hearts and such a lovely game. Let me go ahead and turn on my transparency so that we can see our lovely. <laughs> There, there she is. This is my android right here. I put a little goofy face on her because those are so goofy getting her. We got Ron Swanson here just chilling, being a total G. Just greeting people, maplers, as they come in to this lovely hotel. The shops, I think, are pretty same from the last previous events. I mean, you know, we got the standard stuff in here, like note stones, potential scrolls. Got some cool boxes. We got some personal shops here as well. You know, some slot coupons and things like that. Um, what I'm really excited about, though, is the jewelry shop, which I think is over here. Here it is. She is selling some really nice rings, which probably if you guys have been playing for a bit, you already have your all your four rings. But as you can see, I am missing three rings right now, which I doubt I can farm up three rings worth of coins, but that'd be really cool if I could. But yeah, that's pro probably what I'm shooting for. I've been trying to farm the coins, been missing a few days, of course, here and there. Let me go ahead and do this little event, though. I think it's just like seeing how many points you can rack up and you get a certain amount of coins, depending on how much damage you dish out. Oh, congrats, by the way. I think my highest score so far that I got was 700. Yeah, it wasn't very, very high, but it was pretty cool. You know, that's 70 coins, I think. Almost pushed to 750 there. 744, very cool. So that's 74 coins, sweet. And also I'm gonna go ahead and level up my VIP pass. 200 coins a day, which that kind of gets expensive. I don't know if it's like totally worth, but I hope it is. I'm just gonna put my stuff into attack right now. It's really cool that MapleStory is still doing like their yearly anniversary events and every year is something new. So that's really awesome. I think last year it was the pixel event. I think that event tilted a lot of people though with the mini games that were happening there. There was like Yut, which <laughs> people, I loved Yut. I, that was back when I was streaming quite a bit. Oh, I miss streaming. It's just that the problem is, is like when I do Twitch streaming and I'm trying to keep up with YouTube and my job, it's just like, I think it's just me. I start to fall behind on other things you know, and it's just unfortunate. And YouTube is like really special to me. So I, I wanna make sure I don't lose YouTube. If I just had like more willpower, maybe, I could probably do everything, you know? It's just like in the past when I streamed a lot, which I love streaming too, I just fell behind with YouTube because I would spend a lot of time streaming after work and I just didn't have really the energy to keep up my YouTube channel which, and then I got really sad because YouTube is still, like like I said, just so special to me. Whenever I complain like that though, like I think about um, some YouTubers that my friends were telling me about, they're like full-time doctors and then she does handbag reviews on her YouTube channel, like full-time as well and has, you know, a huge following. Um, and I just don't know how she does it. There's a lot of people out there that do that, you know, that just, they have a full-time really, strenuous job and also doing just full-time YouTubing their passion their career and it's so cool it's inspiring I just wish I could keep up like that I just need to recharge though you know as much as I love doing YouTube um, there's just times where I need to 
be, I guess, alone. I mean, not not alone. What am I supposed to try to say? Like, there's just times where I'm just, I want to just do my things, you know what I mean? Where it's not being captured, I guess, on camera. There's like something that's really special about that. Like, moments that aren't captured with a lens in a way that's something that's pretty difficult too these days because everything just it wants to be captured right to get the perfect picture whenever you're on vacation and things like that and it's starting to remind me now about a time um, when I went hiking and I, and I talked about it in my hiking video too I uh, might have talked about it in another video as well but when I met this uh, this lady out there she was hiking alone solo hiking with her dog beautiful dog by the way this majestic big black beast and she was out there like just looking out in the scenery and it just looks so picture perfect you know and I was like thinking to myself like already my content creating mine like oh man you know I think she would definitely want a picture here to post on her social or something because this is like so beautiful right and when I asked I, I approached her and I asked if she wanted a picture taken and you know she was really excited and then and she pulled out a Polaroid camera kind of shocked me a little bit and I was like oh interesting you know like a Polaroid camera if you guys don't know what those are it's like when you take the the picture and it prints it out for you right there you can't like plug it into your computer and get the digital copy of it it's just a physical copy of the picture oh these aren't the right plates let me go to the correct plates here i think it's these ones i took a picture for her and then you know i, I asked her if she wanted me to take a picture for her um, on her phone or something more digital so that she can post it um, online or something on on her social and she said no because she just wanted this memory to be for herself and it was pretty deep because like a lot of times like we're out there trying to capture these moments take the perfect picture not for ourselves but more so for validation from others and there's little like times nowadays where we actually just do things for ourselves in a sense create memories just for us because it's more intimate that way when you only share that memory right in a sense i mean of course i mean come on i'm, I'm a content creator i love posting things and um, sharing you know my life and pictures and things that are interesting to you guys um, but there are times where it's just whenever I experience something this is just for me this is just for me and someone special like our memories that only we can share and know about a lot of times you know we're focused on getting the perfect angle the perfect picture with with our camera when we should be trying to focus on capturing that memory for ourselves you know trying harder to capture that moment um, mentally for ourselves I guess because like we all know like cameras can only capture so much right I mean they can even capture more sometimes than the eye can see depending on your skills and the type of camera being able to enhance the picture making it look even more beautiful my friend Emily she was telling me that she went to go see the uh, I think they're called the northern lights or something the aurora lights I, I don't know some majestic lights you know that go into the sky and that actually they look more bright and more beautiful on a picture after you take it rather than just you know your eyes what the eyes can see because the camera can enhance and make the colors pop I guess but there's other things than just the visuals that are there right it's the feelings that when you're there it's the moment it's who you're with the situation why you're out there and what you're there to or what you're out there to see like what is the purpose of the trip um, so there's there's just a lot more that goes behind I guess the picture all this being said though it probably sounds like I'm like now anti pictures or something but no I, I love taking pictures I love capturing moments and memories I think being able to capture pictures nowadays is just so beautiful because you can capture these moments now these memories that you can look back and it can spark these feelings now um, from when you were there in the moment now I know I said all that but you guys should still follow me on Instagram and Twitter so you can see the pictures that I do post I've been trying to go out on hikes a lot more around my area and I've been meeting a lot of solo hikers or travelers I mean like they've been traveling from I don't know the other side of the, the states people drove from Florida New York Connecticut just all just going through and traveling by themselves which it, it just makes me miss my my road trips and my adventures on the road I've been thinking also maybe like when my lease is up at this place I might just try to hit the road for a few months I don't know if my company would let me 
um, work remotely like that. But then like another part of my mind is thinking about like settling a little bit more, buying a place or a spot. And then my manager at work was telling me, yo, don't don't do that. Like, don't buy anything right now. Just get a van, take out the back seats, put a bed in there and just drive around and live on the road. I'm like, you're my spirit animal, dude. Like, seriously, <laughs> that's awesome. I am going to try to close three of the doors. All right, this is the plan. Three of the CRA doors. I mean, Seavel will be awesome, but Seavel is just mostly for the weapon slot, which this arcane umbra weapon is insane. So I just want to get three of the doors, which is top, bottom, and hat. And then after I get those items at a good spot, I want to try to take down and finally deliver a cup of soup to Princess No. Ooh, Princess No. And if I can get the Kana treasure ring, oh my gosh, I'll be popping off. I'll be popping off. But that was pretty much the main goals for Cups of Soup here was to kill Princess No. It's been kind of just a loose little thought. Like, I feel like I want to do so much more. And I love playing with Cups of Soup here. And I've been already just thinking a little bit about maybe a new character. You know, I saw some suggestions in the comments in the last video saying, yo, DeBokes, since you've made an archer, thief, and now a warrior, maybe you got to make some of like the other classes, like maybe one pirate and a mage. And I was thinking of Cannoneer. Cannoneer sounds pretty fun because Cannoneer does have my favorite skill in Maple Story. If I can get Cups of Soup in a comfortable spot where he can start taking down some of the hard bosses, I mean, our Meso flow is coming in pretty nicely. I've been still trying to do the weekly bosses with Gentle Straws and Pillow Mints, kind of gaining up the Mesos that way, so it's been pretty cool. All right, let me go ahead and get dressed up here for bossing. I'm going to change my Legion over. To the good old bossing stance. I am already in the bossing stance, so that is good. Okay, so you guys were telling me to buff myself with the 275 chairs instead of the 250s, so that is what I'll do. All right, here we go, ladies and gents. The first victim, the Crimson Queen. We're almost pushing three mil buff range at the moment, sitting at 230% boss damage, 88% IED. Let's go ahead and just remember our basics here. That's not the basics. Let's go ahead and get our buffs up and get our phantom blade going. So the damage is uh, a little lacking, a little lacking. Feeling just okay. Please don't get hit by the booty. Nice dodge. Ooh, that was hot. Okay, this is good. This is a sweet spot, right? Whoa. Oh my gosh, that scared me. I think I'm dead here. Oh, we're okay, we're okay. Man, I'm playing so risky. What's going on right now? All right, we're gonna chill. We're gonna chill. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is actually feeling pretty good, guys. Pretty good, pretty good. Whoa, 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 why, why? Why would you be there? Oh no. Guys, I'm a little bit worried, actually. I thought I would have been able to push this a lot better, but it's a lot more difficult than I was expecting, to be honest. I mean, fully buffed, we're like hitting four mil right now range, but it's just still not enough. I'm trying to do three doors today. Okay, Dabokey. I don't know where I got that like courage and the confidence to try to do three doors. Are you kidding me? Also, I need to save some iframes for when she's gonna try to vampire me. Do I have a burst for the mirror though? That's the question. Do I have the burst? I do have the burst. Oh, that was beautiful. Uh, 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 she is just not having it right now. 12 minutes halfway through. I think we should be fine. Did she already place the mirror somewhere and I just can't see it? This is the most dangerous one. And of course she places it right there where I cannot reach it. <laughs> Shoot. And if she gets me again with this, I'm donezoed. I hope I killed the mirror back there. Oh my gosh, that was not good, guys. That was the one thing that I just could not have happened to me. That, that's the vampire skill. No. No! I want to do this first before I feel your pain. <gasps> what? That was crazy, guys. One life now? No, not like this. Not like this. She's going back into it? What? I died? Oh, that was rough. That was rough. That was so close. Oh, I was really wanting to kill her this time, guys. I was too focused on trying to get my hero's will skill there. No! Okay, can we at least kill one of them? I don't think I can kill the clown. Let's try to kill Von Bon, I guess. I can't believe I like thought I was gonna go ahead and kill all three CRA doors. I must have thought I was like super strong or something. What in the world? Oh, that's embarrassing. 
I couldn't even take one down. Alright, Chaos Chicken. I guess we'll just do this in order then. Come on, baby. Let's get this. So we gotta just be careful of the one shot that skill here. I guess we can go ahead and just dodge back and forth and just keep hitting him. The only time where it's gonna get a little bit funky, fresh, is when he starts hopping around trying to fly like a chicken should and then we're just gonna have some troubles in the boondocks you know okay I like the damage output that we're doing right now the dash skill is really nice back and forth it's good I'm gonna go ahead and do this I feel like I'm putting out some mad damage on this chicken right now <gasps> what I dashed into it are you kidding me what was that I kind of wish I can hotkey my dash skill that that one right there in my um, quick draw stance I do miss my burst though with the uh, pillow mints my marksman. The burst was so good. And I am running out of time, guys. Think we should be okay? Last phase, last phase. Got the two minute warning coming up. Oh, we sh. Okay, 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 okay. We got it, we got it. Come on. Whoa, whoa. Wait, last life special? Are you serious? One life? One minute left? One little sliver on his health bar? I think we hit him from downtown with the summer rain. With the summer rain! <laughs> Oh, let's go. See that, Yuki? We got him. We got him, baby. Oh, man. Oh, hello, baby. Mm. That was a little too close for comfort. I'm definitely not prepared to be taking down these bosses yet. Did I get all five also? I got eight. Oh, here it is. Eagle Eye Warrior Armor. First piece of our set, guys. I'm going to go ahead and transfer over this overall into my eagle eye warrior armor boom there it is i'm pumped i took down at least one cra all right I, I was a bit ambitious thinking that i could take down all three doors there i think next time we can definitely get the queen i am worried about the what is it i'm worried about the clown because i just don't have a burst so i don't know how i'm going to deal with that but we'll see where's that crystal Y'all know it. You all know it. There we go. One surprise style box. All right, one surprise style box. I think we can treat ourselves with that before we call it. Some pretty cool stuff, though. Pretty cool stuff in this surprise style box. Really cute things. I love this dino suit. If the dino suit is going to bless us, then bless us. Let's buy one box. Let's go. Y'all ready? Let's see what we get. Big. Oh, it's so big. Oh, <laughs> really? They got me the sunny dino suit? Are you serious? Oh no, but it's not really that great without the dino hat. Oh man, I don't have the yellow dino suit on gentle straws and I can't transfer it over. I don't think it looks right. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It, <laughs> I'm missing something. It's like a mascot without the mascot head on there. I kind of wish that these didn't have such good stats though, these Choo Choo Island set, because it kind of prohibits me to like want to equip anything else but this set. Which is a cute set, but you know, there's other things that I want to equip as well. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I need to call it here. My pizza is going to be here very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to go ahead and close those doors very soon. Also, I need to close the last door with Pillow Mints, if you guys remember her. Um, so we'll be revisiting some old friends. Really appreciate your support. I hope you all are doing well. Much love, one love. This has been Deboki. We'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.